Hey everybody, this is uh, a short video to summarize the results of the first week of class. Incredibly, it's already Friday and we have made it through the first week, um, so I wanted to um, uh, kind of draw some conclusions based on the responses to the readings that I have read so far, and based on the conversations that I have seen online and participated in with you. Uh, I think overall we're to a very good start. I think we're dealing with a difficult topic here, and um, as you're beginning to see, I think defining uh, the term professional writing is um, as difficult as it is important. And the importance of defining it, or at least trying to understand the scope of it, is um, in the fact that in order to understand how to teach it, we need to know what we're teaching. So I think a lot of you are beginning to see that um, the definitions are uh, very diverse. Different theorists talk about professional writing and its nature differently. And so I think we're beginning to see also is that um, instead of uh, maybe striving for one um, brief definition of the field, we should think about a scope, the scope of a field. We should think about all the different kinds of writing, all the different situations in which we write professionally. So uh, it may or may not be possible for us to come up with something like professional writing is in one sentence, or it may be, I don't know. But I think what we're moving towards quite quickly, um, as it is very evident from your posts, is the uh, thinking about the field, not in terms of the kinds of documents that it produces and what those documents look like, but uh, more in terms of um, the purposes of those uh, writing activities that people engage in professionally. What they do when they write professionally, what happens in professional writing spaces, professional writing environments what kinds of uh, purposes professional texts um, serve and what audiences they're trying to reach and in what contexts they're being uh, created and consumed or read. So I think uh, what I saw in your post at least is that we're sort of slowly beginning to understand a professional writing as a collection of different kinds of activities, different kinds of um, <clears throat> purposes, audiences, and context rather than this monolithic um, unified thing which we can define easily. Uh, I now want to talk a little bit about how I've been reading your posts and um, suggest some specific um, strategies and moves to you on how to improve your, um, your participation in the class discussions. I think we've done pretty well um, on the discussion posts. The first post that was based on readings, which was due yesterday, I realized there was a lot of reading. And um, my purpose in assigning so many articles at one sitting was to kind of give you a broad uh, view of the various ways in which various uh, scholars have talked about professional and technical writing. I realized that you probably wouldn't have time to read um, everything in, in, in a lot of great detail. And so um, the purpose was to get a broad idea of the range of the, of, of the ideas about the field. So if you've covered the broad range, if you were able to understand what the main differences between those theories were, and if you were able to post on that, uh, you did the job pretty well. Um, here's how I've read the uh, latest batch of um, discussions um, which were posted yesterday. Um, I have um, graded them all, graded, with you know, quotation marks. Um, everybody got full credit, two points. However, um, I would like to um, remind you that uh, the purpose of these um, discussion posts is not so much to summarize the readings, we all have a common set of readings, but rather to um, reflect and elaborate on them. So if you um, went back to the discussion prompt for this past Thursday, you would see that the last portion of the discussion prompt explicitly asks you to consider how these readings have changed or are changing uh, your um, evolving understanding of the scope of the field of professional writing. And it's okay not to have um, a definitive understanding of it yet. But what I do want you to do in these discussion posts is to elaborate um, quite a bit more on what you think all this means. So for instance, you know, you might say, I'm still confused, that's okay. But what I'd like you to do in this post is to say exactly what is confusing, exactly where things are unresolved, what is still causing questions, what is still causing doubts and concerns. So just elaborate on the um, on the um, discussion, actual discussion parts of the post. So um, I've written some comments to that effect to a few of you. If you go to um, where you see your graded assignments, you will see written comments from me 
a few people, not everybody. And now what I'd like to do is, um, I'm not going to actually go to the discussion forum and write comments to your readings. I'd like you to first read each other's um, posts yourselves. Maybe then when you log in next time, Monday or Tuesday for the next assignment, go ahead and read those posts from this Thursday to one another. Uh, and uh, you see what you think, post some comments first, and then I will chime in and uh, post some of my own responses to you. The um, way, the reason I'm doing it this way is is because I want you to, to, to drive the conversation before I step in and kind of try to drive it somewhere else, maybe where we shouldn't be going. So uh, I think, you know, we've, uh, we've gone through one half of the first module. I think it's becoming clear that we're steering in the right direction. We're trying to get away from thinking of professional writing as just a set of documents that are written in a certain technical style but rather to think about it as a, as a field of practice with diverse practices, diverse uh, environments, diverse processes and purposes. So I think we're doing well and um, I look forward to um, working with you again next week. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye.